If you are given a reaction mechanism, can you, the student, identify things as a catalyst or intermediate? I see this question a lot on kinetics tests in high school and university chemistry. Now the first thing I want you to do if you're asked that is to find the overall reaction. They're giving you all the elementary steps, but we want to figure out what the reactants are and what the products are. What you'll notice is that A and B are combining to make C, but then C is immediately consumed to create E. That means that C will not be in the overall reaction. Put another way, they cancel out because you have one on the right, one on the left, similar to Hess's law. You might also notice that D is on the left and the right. So D cancels out of the overall reaction. E is on the right and left, they cancel. F is on the right and left, they cancel. Overall here, A was used up, but not recreated. Two Bs were used up, but not recreated. And the only thing we created that wasn't used up later was G. This is the overall reaction. These are your reactants. That's probably obvious, but I want to point it out anyways. And this is your only product. Everything else that appeared in the mechanism that isn't A, B, or G was either a catalyst or an intermediate. The way you tell the difference is that a catalyst is a reactant first in the mechanism, and then it's a product. D was used up in the second elementary step, and then by the end of the third step, it was recreated, it was a product. D here is the catalyst, because it is used up, then regenerated, as catalysts should be. It needs to be there in the reaction vessel so that the reaction can go forward, but it isn't in the overall reaction, it's probably just there to make the reaction go faster. Now, on the other hand, C is a product first. And E is a product first. And F is also a product first. Those are intermediates in that they are the products of one of the reactions, but then that thing goes on to become a reactant and is used up that way. An intermediate is a product first in the mechanism, and then it appears as a reactant. Note that because both of these are products and reactants at different times, that's why they canceled. Reactants stay in the overall reaction, products stay in the overall reaction. Intermediates and catalysts cancel. Catalysts will have appeared as a reactant first. Intermediates are a product first. That's the end of it. Easy. Good luck.